This is Bridge with Stephen from the Lake Chapala Duplicate Bridge Club. <clears throat> Today we're going to do the second of three parts on the subject of uh, Blackwood. Last time we discussed uh, the original form of Blackwood, the four note trump bass ask and the five note trump king ask, um, and what some of the limitations um, to Blackwood were. This time what we're going to talk about is a modern variation of Blackwood called Roman key card Blackwood. <clears throat> where we're no longer asking about aces and kings, but about the five key cards and the three side suit kings. We break up those eight cards now into five and three. Um, what's a key card? A key card is any ace or the trump king. This should say or. Um, so there are five key cards. Now, because there are five key cards, um, what, what the uh, Italians who invented this system, and the reason it's called Roman is because of them, what they have done is they've regrouped the, um, the responses, the step responses to four note trump. If you recall with the original note trump, the first step response, five clubs, meant zero or four. The second step meant five diamonds. Now what we're going to do is have the um, uh, first two steps each represent two different uh, number of key cards. And, uh, and those are both without the Queen of Trump, and then the, the last two steps will be um, either two or five key cards with the Queen of Trump. Let's take a, a little closer look at this. The original form of this system um, had five clubs representing zero or three key cards, and five diamonds representing one or four key cards. Five hearts was two or five with no Trump Queen, and five spades was two or five with the Trump Queen. Well, as is often the case um, with uh, bridge theory, it's been decided that the lower ranking bid should apply to the better hand. And since one or four key cards is better than zero or three, um, this is considered an improvement, making five clubs the, the response that shows one or four. When we play this way, we call it 1430 to um, signify that the first step is one and four and the second step is three and zero. If we play this way, it's called, it's called 3014. This is the preferred uh, method. Um, it's only slightly better. They're pretty much the same most of the time. The one time they're different is when uh, you're in a heart auction and the response to four no trump is five diamonds. Then um, the, uh, uh, the queen ask is a little bit of a problem or could be a little bit of a problem. We'll talk about that um, later. Okay, now that we're making um, the king of trump the fifth key card, we have a new problem that we didn't have with the old Blackwood. We need to know which suit is trump before we um, answer for a four no trump call. And the usual um, way this is done is the last suit that's been bid naturally by either player before the four note trump call is assumed to be uh, the trump suit. So in this option, one spade, four note trump, spades is assumed to be the uh, trump suit, and the five key cards are the four aces and the king of spades. In this case, the bidding's on one spade, two hearts, four note trump. Two hearts is the last suit bid naturally, um, and therefore the four note trump call um, assigns the king of hearts the role of the fifth key card. Now, in an option like this, one spade, two hearts, three hearts, four clubs, four no trump. The trump suit's still going to be hearts, not clubs, because clubs here is not natural. This is control bid. Um, hearts have been uh, bid and raised, and uh, uh, a four club bid is going to force us to at least a level of four hearts. It's obviously an interesting slam, and it's a control. It's, uh, uh, it's not a natural suit, so hearts is still the uh, trump suit, and the king of hearts is still the fifth key card. Now, this is kind of an interesting little diagram here. When we enter into this pathway, we have a variety of choices. We start with the key card ask, which is four no trump. If we don't like the response, we might just want to sign off at the five level and we just set the contract. Or maybe we do like the response and we set the contract anyway. Uh, we may want to ask if, if partner has the queen of trump. If we do that, we now have the opportunity to set the contract or to pick from um, this other menu of options. Um, the other choices would be after the queen ask, if we don't, if we aren't ready to set the contract immediately, we can do a specific king ask, and sometimes a second king ask, or we can do a specific suit ask, and uh, uh, we have a choice between the specific king ask and the specific suit ask. Uh, we can't do both of these, okay? Another thing um, I want to point out to you is that both of these bids, the four no trump, a key card ask and the queen ask can be done below below the level of six and it's possible to bail out at a five level contract after making either or both of these bids. But once we get into this range where we start doing um, specific king asks 
uh, specific suit ass and second king ass. Um, these bids are all at the five no tramp or higher level, and they guarantee that we can uh, that we're going to small slam. So they're basically exploration for grand slam. Okay, so uh, we don't we don't do grand slam exploration unless we have all five key cards and the queen of trump. We also don't do a queen ass unless we have uh, uh, at least uh, four key cards. Okay, now suppose um, your partner has made a four no trump uh, bid. You know how to answer um, in the usual way, but how about if you have a useful void and you want to show that to partner? Well, we can do that, um, although we have to give up some of these other options if we do. Answering, let's assume that hearts um, are our agreed upon suit. When we have a useful void, and what I mean is a use, by a useful void is optimally a, a suit that hasn't been bid by our partner and maybe has been bid by the opponents. Um, if we have an odd number of key cards and our void is in a suit of, of lower rank than our trump suit, we bid that suit at the sixth level. So here we have a diamond void, which we consider to be useful um, based on the previous bidding. Hearts is our suit. So after four no trump, we bid six diamonds, and that says um, that we have uh, an odd number of key cards, in this case just the one, and a void in the, in the lower ranking suit that we just named. Now I'm going to turn around the spades and the diamonds here and make the spades void. Now the same hand has its void in a higher ranking suit, but it's still just an odd number of key cards, one. So the answer to four no trump is now six of our agreed upon suits, six hearts. That says I have a useful void um, in a suit higher ranking than hearts. Of course that would have to be spades. Now here is an example with an even number of key cards. I've changed this jack to a king, so now we have the ace and the king of trump. That's two key cards. Um, when we have an even number of key cards, wherever our void is, whether it's higher or lower ranking suit, the answer to four no trump becomes five no trump. And if partner wants to know where that void is, six clubs ask that question. Now let's look at the trump queen next. Um, and in this example here, um, we're assuming that hearts are trump. The trump queen ask is the lowest non-trump suit after a key card ask. It precedes the king ask, if you're going to have a king ask. It follows a first or second step uh, key card answer, and it occurs at the five level. When do you make the queen ask? Well, like I said, you, you ought to have four key cards to do that. You're interested in, in a small slam or maybe um, even higher. Um, Obviously, you're not looking at the queen of trump yourself, otherwise you don't need to ask. If, if, if you've got the queen in your hand, you don't need to ask, so you don't have the queen. And one other um, proviso is that a, a partner's response was first or second step. Remember, if partner um, answers five clubs or five diamonds, that only says zero or one, uh, three or four key cards. It doesn't say anything about the queen of trump. But if partner's answer had been five hearts, that would say two key cards without the queen of trump, you don't need to ask. If partner's answer had been uh, uh, five spades, that's two key cards with the Queen of Trump. Again, you don't need to ask. <clears throat> now, um, one uh, interesting little uh, feature is that um, if partner asks you if you have the Queen of Trump and you know that you and partner have a 10 card fit or, lar or longer, you can answer yes even without it. The thinking being that 78% of the time, um, I'm assuming you don't have the Queen, uh, because partner asked you about it and you're not looking at it, 78% of the time the three outstanding trump will break 2-1. Uh, and the, the rest of the time, half of those times, the queen will be um, in a, a finessable position. So uh, we just go ahead and answer yes whenever we know we have a 10 card fit. Okay, um, here's how we answer the, the trump queen ask. This would be an example of, of, of an ask right here, one heart, four no trump, five clubs, I'm assuming the 1430 form of, uh, of Blackwood, key card Blackwood. So that says I have one or four key cards. Five diamonds, do you have the queen of trump? Okay, and this is the, um, the set of responses. Five hearts, return to the trump suit, no, I don't have it. I don't have the queen of hearts. Five no trump, yes, I have the queen of hearts, but no side suit kings. This is kind of interesting, why are we talking about kings? Well, it's been noticed that um, if the answer to do you have the queen of trump is yes, it's very likely um, partner is interested in, um, in slam. Why would you ask if the answer is yes and you still don't want to go to slam? Partner is in, interested in slam and will be interested in which kings you have. So what we do is when we have the queen of, of trump and a side suit king, any of the three side suit kings, 
we had the cheapest one we have to tell partner, yes, we have the queen and this king, but none of the kings that we bypassed. So for example, um, um, I mentioned five hearts is the no answer, but uh, yes, when I have no kings, I bid five no trump. Now after five diamonds, um, a five spade call says yes. Anything except a return to, um, to the trump suit is yes. Yes, and I have the spade king, uh, the cheapest king that I could possibly have bid um, above our trump suit. Um, if the answer is six clubs, yes, I do have the queen, and I have the club king, that's what six clubs means, but no spade king, because if I had the spade king, the bid would have been five spades, I would have bid it instead. And if you're fortunate enough to hold the trump queen and all three side suit kings, the answer uh, to the queen ask is six no trump. Okay, let's move on to the king ask now. I mentioned that there's a, bit, a difference here between the king ask in the original uh, Blackwood and in this version of Blackwood. Um, in the original version of Blackwood, the king asked, asked about four kings. Now we're only asking about three because we've taken one of those and put them over with the aces and made it a key card. There are two methods of answering um, the king ask. One is very similar to the um, old, older way that you're used to. It's called quantitative, in which um, case these step responses show increasing numbers of, of side suit kings. When we have no side suit kings, the answer to five no trump is six clubs. The answer to six diamonds is uh, uh, six diamonds means one, six. Uh, Hearts means two, and six spades means three. But um, a more popular method, and one that's more highly recommended, is what's called the specific king ask. And here, in, in this example, we're assuming that hearts is trump, where um, we are going to um, we are going to bid our cheapest side suit king. If we have none, we're going to um, just return to the trump suit. So after a five no trump king ask. Uh, if hearts is our agreed upon suit, six hearts says I have no side suit kings. If I have one or two side suit kings, I'm going to bid the cheapest one, the cheaper one. Uh, so after five no trump, if I have the, the club king, that's the cheapest club that's possible to bid. I mean, that's the cheapest suit that's possible to bid. If I have the club king, I'm going to say six clubs. If I say six diamonds, it means I have the diamond king, but not the club king. And of course, six spades means I have the, um, uh, the spade king but uh, you should be careful uh, making a bid like this, six bays, if your suit is hearts, because now you're, you've passed six hearts. And here would be an example of this um, uh, put to work. Here's your hand, you open a spade, partner splinters um, to four diamonds, which if you're not familiar with that bid, what that shows is game forcing strength, four card or longer support for the spades, and a singleton or void in uh, the splinter suit diamonds. Partner likes that response and immediately bids uh, four no trump. Holding um, one, two key cards. Oops, something's wrong here. Um, anyway, um, forget the actual hand because it doesn't uh, correlate with this. Uh, th these responses are, are for um, three or zero key cards, and this is for one or four key cards, not two key cards. I, I could probably change this to a king and it would, uh, it, and it would be right, but let's, let's get past that. After the five no trump um, key card, uh, uh, king ask, six clubs would be saying I have the king of clubs. That's exactly, that's exactly the king you're looking for um, because partner has already shown um, I'm sorry, I'm, getting, I'm having a little trouble following my own um, thinking right here, but, but if partner can show us um, the king of clubs, we're going to be um, interested in the grand slam, but if partner doesn't have the king of clubs, we're not interested in the grand slam. So after five no trump, a six club response allows us to bid seven spades, but any other response, we're forced to stop at six spades. Now let's look at the second king ask. Every once in a while it's possible to ask about another king after you've made the five no trump um, uh, specific king ask. Here would be such an example. You hold a hand like this, partner has a hand like this, you open a spade, partner makes a Jacoby two no trump response to that. You uh, bid three clubs to show your shortness in clubs. And if you're familiar with the Jacoby two no trump uh, system of bids, this would be the usual bid now. Partner um, bids four clubs showing a, a control in clubs. You bid four no trump. Partner bids five hearts showing um, two key cards without the queen of trump. And those two key cards are going to be the ace of clubs and the king of trump. But there's no trump queen there, so five hearts is the right answer. Five no trump. Now, how many, um, uh, which kings do you have? Well, partner is able to um, tell you about the king of diamonds. 
doesn't have the King of Clubs, so can't bid five clubs. That would be the cheapest king if partner held the King of Clubs. Uh, but also the King of Clubs wouldn't be very interesting to us anyway since we're short there. Uh, so partner bids five diamonds. Well, what we really want to know now is, knowing that a um, partner has uh, two key cards, they must be um, the King of Trump and the Ace of Clubs. Um, knowing that partner has um, the Ace of Clubs, the King of Trump, and the King of Diamonds, which was the answer to the uh, five no Trump call, what we really want to know is does partner have the King of Hearts? Um, if partner has the King of Hearts, we want to be in a grand slam, and if partner doesn't have the King of Hearts, we want to settle for a small slam. So at this point, we can bid another suit at the sixth level, six hearts, and what that says to partner is if you have that, if you have that king, take us to the seventh level in our agreed upon suit. If not, let's sign out at six. So because partner does have the King of Hearts, partner bids seven spades. That's the second king asked. Okay, now we're going to look at one more option we have. Um, uh, before I leave king ask, I just want to repeat something that I mentioned in the last session, and that is that we don't make a king ask, just like we don't make a specific suit ask, unless we have all five key cards in the Queen of Trump. Uh, we, we need to uh, um, have all those cards to be interested in Grand Slam. And by the time we get to this bid, this bid, and this bid, it is Grand Slam exploration. We're going past uh, we're, we're, we're committing our partnership to um, the sixth level at least, because we've made a five no trump bid here, that'll get us to the sixth level. Uh, the second king ask is a sixth level bid, and so is the specific suit ask. Now, a specific suit ask, it, this comes up when we want to know something, uh, we want information about one of the side suits in particular. It's a non trump suit bid after the queen ask or the key card ask, but unlike the queen ask, it's at the sixth level. So, um, Consider a hand like this. You have a real nice hand, you open two clubs, partner responds to two diamonds, you show your uh, spades suit with two spades, partner raises spades, and now you make a, a four no trump call. Partner answers five hearts to, to tell you two key cards, but not the queen of trump. Well, you're not surprised partner doesn't have the queen of trump, because you do. And you know what those two key cards are. They're this ace and this ace, because you have the other three, the ace and king of trump and the ace of clubs. So what do you want to know now? You know, a king ask isn't going to be very helpful to you. Um, you have all the kings. What you really want to know um, is, um, can I make a grand slam here? Can I make a, a seven level contract? If so, what do I need? What I really need is third round control of clubs. I need for partner to have either the queen of clubs or no more than two of them in that suit. So what I'm going to do is make an inquiry about clubs. After the 400 from five heart call, I now bid six clubs and that's a specific suit ask. And, and this is the menu of responses. If partner returns to Trump, he's, he's telling us that he doesn't have um, second or third round control of um, the ask suit. Has three small or longer. And so the answer in this case would be back to six spades. A first step response, and after six clubs that would be six diamonds, says I have, um, second round, uh, I have third round control. So either queen XX, and it could be longer, it could be queen XXX, um, or a double third. This cannot be longer because we have to have, we have to pro we're promising second round control uh, to partner in this suit. Now a second set response, six hearts in this case, would show um, uh, second round control in this form, but no third round control. A third set response would show second and third round control in this form. And notice when I say third step, I'm bypassing the trump suit. Uh, so six spades was not a step. Six no trump is, is the third step. And then finally, um, if we raise the ask suit, so after six clubs, bid seven clubs, it means we have second and third round control in the form of the king and the queen, and maybe another card. Also, um, uh, with a single, singleton in the ask suit, if it's not one of partner's um, bid suits, we can just bid seven of the trump suit. That's how this goes. Now let's look at a hand. Sorry. Um, this is a hand that actually came up in uh, this bridge club this month. Uh, this nice hand got to open two clubs, and uh, the, re the response with uh, nine high card points and, and a balanced hand was two no trump, three hearts um, was uh, uh, the next bid, followed by a raise of four hearts, four no trump. This is uh, um, Roman key card Blackwood. Uh, five clubs was the uh, 1430 uh, response to show one key card. And of course, this hand knows what that key card is, holding four of the other four. One, two, three, four. 
And so at this point, we know partner has the ace of spades. We don't expect any losers in our trump suit. We don't expect any losers in our club suit. What we really want to know about is what does partner have in diamonds? Um, and in this case, partner has exactly what we need, the king and the queen. So we make a, a six diamond specific suit ask, and partner raises the ask suit to show both the king and the queen, and we can confidently bid either seven hearts or seven no trump now, knowing that we have the ace of spades and the king queen of diamonds. That, that's a, a pretty nice application of, of, of this. And then um, one last hand uh, to spend a moment on. This is another hand that came up in this bridge club um, a couple years ago, uh, just to show you a little bit of a dilemma that, that might arise. Um, this uh, hand opened one diamond. This hand responded one spade. Now, um, opener jumps in diamonds to three diamonds, and uh, the responder makes a four no trump uh, key card ask. This hand over here um, shows two key cards and the queen of trump with a five spade of response. Where are those cards? Here are the two key cards, the ace and king of trump, and here's the queen of trump. Okay, we have the other three key cards, so we know that we have all five key cards and the queen of trump. And uh, so we make a uh, five no trump call to ask about uh, um, specific kings. Partner shows the cheapest king possible with a six heart call. And uh, we're real happy to hear about that. At this point, we know that partner has a six card or longer diamond suit headed by the ace king queen, so we can count on six trump tricks, or six, um, six diamond tricks anyway. We know we have the ace king of spades, that's eight tricks. Partner has just uh, showed us the king of hearts, so we have uh, um, two more hearts, that takes us up to 10 tricks. We see um, two clubs, that takes us to, to 12 tricks. Do we have a 13th trick? We have all the aces, we have all the kings, we have the queen of trump. Do we have one more queen in this hand? Well, we don't really know for sure, but um, it's perfectly reasonable to assume that partner has at least um, one of those queens that we're looking for, because uh, partner has made a jump here, uh, promising about 16 points, and has shown us the ace, king, queen of diamonds, and the king of hearts, so that's 12 points. Partner's gotta have another four points or more in this hand, and I think it's perfectly reasonable to assume that partner has um, one of the unstated queens. Partner actually has two of them. And just go ahead and bid all 13 tricks, seven no trump. Okay, that's it for today.